Hi folks, my name is Ron Rosenstock. I'm a, a photographer, an international photo tour leader, and I've been a teacher of photography uh, most of my life. Started way back in the 60s. And uh, doing all three, still going strong and enjoying it. I wanna give you a little taste of an hour long program, a travelogue I put together on two different uh, but wonderful destinations. One on the Inca Empire, the different monuments to be found in Peru. And then part two will be on the Galapagos Islands. So I'm gonna go right to screen share and show you a few of the photographs that you'd be seeing later. So hold on a sec while I go to screen share. And I have to do away my little face and move that over. And we're gonna start off at Machu Picchu. Uh, with Huayna Picchu in the background. And uh, in my uh, program, I'll be telling you a lot about Machu Picchu. Um, it was actually built in the early 1500s uh, by uh, the, the Inca, and uh, they had just remarkable um, uh, ability uh, of, uh, to, to construct these stone um, buildings uh, and bring water in from distant peaks. And uh, I'll go into much more detail in, in the full program. This stone called Intihuatana is on top of, of one of their sacred temples. It's called the Hitching Post of the Sun. Then we, uh, another monument, one of the largest Inca monuments uh, is called Sacsayhuaman, just outside of Cusco. And this stone in back of me is estimated to weigh 125 tons. And it was quarried some miles away and brought to this site, this hillside, uh, just above uh, Cusco, Peru. And it's very, very mysterious. There, there are, it's uh, built on many different terraces and um, apparently only 40% of the original remains, but still pretty amazing. Look at this cornerstone here, how they were able to shape and carve these stones. Then um, I'll be talking about the salt mines of Salinas, where there are thousands of mines that were created by thousands of pools, I should say, created by the Inca, you know, many, many hundreds of years ago, and they're still harvested today for salt. And in my program, I'll explain more how they do that. Uh, and then I had an encounter with a Peruvian shaman, uh, quite a remarkable man. Now, then I'm going to uh, zoom over to uh, the Galapagos Islands, and I'll explain to you about the development of the different species there, from the blue-footed booby, the red-footed booby, the red-billed tropic bird, um, and then in the, in the oceans of the Galapagos, where I did a lot of uh, uh, snorkeling, not scuba, but just snorkeling with an underwater camera of manta rays and sharks. There's a white-tipped shark. Um, doesn't attack people at all, just eats a lot of the local, uh, a lot of the fish down there. Um, and then the, the iguanas of the Galapagos are pretty amazing. They look like uh, ancient dinosaurs. This one is a land iguana, and their, their cousin is the marine iguana. And the marine iguana eats the uh, 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 plankton and stuff uh, in the sea and different uh, lichens in the bottom of the ocean and then comes up to sun itself. Then we have the tortoises, the famous tortoises of the Galapagos Islands. I'll explain much more about this in the program. Then the turtles that have the fins and live their life in the, in the sea, except when they come on land once a year to the beach where they were born, you know, and lay their eggs. Well, folks, that's a, a, just a little taste of what you're gonna see. If you wanna see the whole program, please uh, go to this website and contact Linda Spragna and she could give you all the details about this hour long um, virtual visit to um, Peru and then to the Galapagos Islands. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing now. Stop share and I'm back in business. Hi there. Well, uh, I hope you get to see the whole program. Um, it, it's really pretty, pretty amazing. And I've made a number of other programs because I travel a lot. Uh, around the world, and uh, Linda could tell you all about my other programs. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.